There we go. Now it's playing the music. Investigation! Oh yeah, we just found a bug. Um, also, I don't know if I said what my, uh, what my theory is for what actually happened or not, but just in case. Sorry, I just wanted to turn it down so that way <laughs> you can make sure you guys heard me. So, my theory is that that um, our client was involved somehow with the guy's agent's suicide sign or like a legit it might turn out to be legit suicide we don't know no, suicide um suicide the guy found out who hid the note and decided to wait until you know oh here's the way i'll ruin him a rivalry sort of thing thing uh, the girl Miss Andrews, of course, decided to get close to the person who knew about the suicide note. She found out about it, realized he's the murderer of her dear friends, and was willing to help help um or the victim do the trial. However, our our client got lights to it and hired the killer or two. to kill the victim well, so that way his secret of what he did wouldn't get out. Because unless I'm mistaken, we just asked if he murdered the victim. I don't think we asked if he murdered at all. Well, that's my guess. It's also possible that, I, you know, he also tried to kill her too because he thought she was a bitch. He hired, hired uh, the person that Miss Adrian Andrews was attached to. Too because he felt betrayed that she that he would leave that she would leave him so we ordered her killing and then the same thing followed oh it's just the difference of whether or not he did the killing or not a camera so this tiny thing is a camera yup it's a pinno CD camera bell. It's a small, high grade video camera mostly used in security systems. So it's a video camera. It runs in the battery, which comes with it in a set. But there's no videotape in this camera. This is only the camera part here, pal. The tape record with the tape aside, it is somewhere else. Somewhere else? The footage is changed into the retro ways, then it is set to that recorder. So, it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Hey, you know you're right! Like I had to the court record. Transmitter. So what is a transmitter? It's a device that sends footage to the cam- But it's a camera took to a specified location. It's like a video version of a listening device, pal. It looks like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Oh, that's a damn pal. You can set it to turn the camera on the cord at a certain time within it. You can set for a certain time? Yep, let's see. This looks like it was set to start 
at 8 p.m. and go for one hour. 8 p.m.? By the time the awards ceremony ended. There's no date set, so it's been recorded every night, I guess. But, Mr. Detective, how long has this bear been here? I'm pretty sure it's been here since the night of the murder. Then, then maybe... Maybe this camera got the murder on tape. What? And if you think about the angle the bear is at, it's bound to have a clear shot of the old crime bell. Okay, um, can we see it? Stuff there. So there is a camera in this bear's eye? Oh, it was disguised as a present. And I'm sure it was here on the night of the murder, pal. It's pretty big, so it stands out pretty well in my mind. But who gave Mr. Cordia this present? I uh, don't know, pal. But this means that someone that, that, uh, that's got the video of what happened here that night. Is there any way we can find out who that person is? It's impossible, pal. At least now that I'm off the police force. Radio waves can be set almost anywhere, so there's no real way to find out. Oh. Is there really no way to find out? So fair eye to the court record. I got it. Well, what? Hey, pal, let me borrow this mini camera for a bit. Well, what are you going to do? I'm gonna go around to the electronics shops to see if I can find out about this. But, but, that's impossible. I mean, it's already 9 p.m. Leave it to me. Even if I have to search on that to find the mom, Bell. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. It's investigate. Oh, yeah, baby. It's investigating dumb. I'm a foul, Bell. My fingers are itching to go. Yeah! Sorry. Yaha! I guess I should have gone. Yahoo! He's gone! Yeah. Well, this is be detective. Sure is a nice man. He was pushing himself so hard. All for Miss Sigmaya's sake. It's a mystery of how you always manage to do things in the most insufficient ways, right? Act! You'll have to excuse me. I heard your conversation just now. Hey, Edgeworth, what are you doing here? Our rescue team has been corrected and deployed. I can't say I'm optimistic, but we have to move forward one step at a time. I, I see. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find her for next. Hmm, so there was a spark come on inside the stuffed animal, huh? You're one lucky man, right? Hmm? Do you know the stuffed bear, little girl? Um, I have no idea. Hmm, of course not. The make of this bear is a very expensive luxury brand from overseas. It's completely handmade, and only a small number of these are exported here. Well, what? The camera and transmitter that Scatterblind Detective took with him are dead ends. Things like those can be bought anywhere. However, this bear is different. By tracking how we got into this country, this bear can tell us who the buyer is. C can you really do that, Mr. Nick? Can you really? Well, I guess so. Hmm, it's a non um, I think I can still make it in time. I'll be tacking this for now. I'm sure you have other things you have to do. So there's that chef I had for. So soon, right? Oh, wait! What? Why are you doing this? 
I have no interest in my explaining myself to someone who cannot comprehend. But besides that, right? Until Carr reconvenes tomorrow, you should concern yourself with this question. Who was the person that murdered John Cordia? The real killer. Do you really still think it was Adrian Andrews? To be honest, I don't know anymore. You'll still have a little time left. Find the truth, right? Everything begins with the truth. Is that wrong? John Cordia's real killer, Miss Adrian Andrews, pass. I'm out of time. The kidnapper whose soul can Conditions of echo from S. Rangon. And this card, Shelly the Killer. Ma, the only way I can save you now is to find all the answers to this case tonight. I don't understand what your real intentions are, Edworth. But as you said, all I can do for now is find the truth. Be continued. All right, I just realized I don't have the volume up that high. Nine. Oh wow. Okay. I love how the bear's so there, even though we took it. It's past 9 p.m. already, isn't it? I wonder, I wonder if Mr. Edward has already found Miss Sigmaya. You think save time. I did say probably not. Police are professionals, Pearls. They'll find her, or don't, so don't you worry. And we can win a not guilty verdict tomorrow. If we can win a not guilty verdict tomorrow, then everything will be okay. Yeah, you're right! Yeah, we gotta talk with her. The real killer. So the real person that killed Mr. Cordia was... That assassin! Mr. Shelley did kill her, right? And the car Miss Andrews found the crime scene seems to be proof of that. But if that's the case, then a new question comes to mind. Who was the one that hired a killer to begin with? Who was his client? You mean, who asked for the murder? The person didn't want to dirty their own hands in blood. Whoever this client is, they're still a killer. Who, who could have hired the assassin? You think it was Miss Andrews? I wonder. But she was the client. Then why go for all the effort to stab a knife into the corpse itself? But Miss Andrews wasn't the client. Then, no, it can't be. That Angar himself? Perhaps Angar really did hire the assassin. Then he's not innocent at all. Far from it, he would be guilty of the crime. But, but, it can't be Mr. Angar, right? I mean, when we first talked with him... So, Angar, I'd like to ask you one more question. Did you kill Mr. John? Oh, we only asked- yeah, we only asked him if he killed Cordia, so. My first theory seems to be correct. Alright, just so we're clear then. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes John Cordia, okay? Yeah, I didn't kill anyone, and that includes John Cordia. Okay. So, my second theory is correct. Not correct, but but my second thing of like he hired Shelly to kill her once before to kill the assistant. Whose name is Celeste Impacts. I right, thought so something to do with that. For some reason, I get the film up the four. Well, I'll listen to those instincts for the next ones because it kind of have. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Jean Cordier, okay? This thing is psycho at that time. 
Actually, that reminds me. Do you remember something, Mr. Nick? Yeah, something Miss Andrew said at the trial today. She said something interesting. Oh, so what's this interesting thing? Oh, that's right. You didn't hear it, did you, Pearls? John had bet everything on the Jam and Ninja this year. And if he lost the Grand Prix, he was going to make sure Matt was going down with him. That's what he thought, anyway. Looks like somehow John had his hand in his hands a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. Is there any God's secret? But what is the secret? I don't know yet. But for now, let's think about it this way. Mr. Cordelia was going to reveal the secret. That means... So I'm going to play Moto to have Mr. Cordelia silenced. Which means we have to meet with Engard. There's no way around it now. I'm assuming we're going to the detention center then. Well, it's really getting late, isn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it's past 9 p.m. already. But we still have some things to prepare for tomorrow's trial. It's still a matter of the secret Mr. Cordelia held about Engard and Andrew's real intentions. These are two things I must know tonight. But aren't this an hours over at the detention center? Hmm. I'm sure we'll pick us up at Pearls, don't you worry. Yeah, I, right. I can't go into the other one, so. Arch my second gateway hotel will be on the hall. Oh no. Hey, wait! What do the witness, Nappa? All I know is nothing that has anything to do with you is ever good. Like just now, I was handling the strange new device. The head of the strange device for, for who knows what reason. I was told to use it to search the whole hotel. That's, that's the bug sweeper, isn't it? The one gun shooting? I don't know. And frankly, I don't care. But the request came from Eddie Pooh, so... Edgeworth? And he said... I am a director anger at that unsophisticated lawyer, Edward. Okay, I still don't see how people ship Edward and right. Edward clearly does not like Phoenix. Like, someone needs to explain that ship to me. Anyway. to direct all my anger towards you. Oh, gee. Thanks a bundle, Edgeworth. What a pal you are. Bug sleeper. This is absolutely top secret, so you better keep it to yourselves. I heard they found a spy camera hidden in one of the presents. Hmm, very interesting. I'm sure it was, you know. It was a cat's board drawn in the middle of a scandalous meeting. Scandalous? What's that? At lands, well, you know, that gossip's been going- Well, you know, that gossip that's been going around my dear John. Oh, you mean that thing about Miss Andrews? I should show up to some reason for getting close to... Mr. Cordia. I'll let you in another secret. I, I know plenty of that spy camera. It was a noxious fluffy hair photographer girl, the love of some people. Fighting on people by herself, as if I wouldn't want to see it for myself, too. Oh, they only have to remember your attention for a change. I don't know what you're thinking, but I can bet that's nothing. That's nothing gone. But I didn't say anything. So you want to know about John and that manager, right? Actually, as I hear it, there was something of a refreshing pair of this, too. Oh? I don't, I don't really welcome that manager with open arms, I heard. That manager? Who are you talking about? You don't know the match that manager woman, Jonah. It was a shame she it was a shame she killed herself, though. Oh, you're talking about Miss Solis Impacts, Miss Andrew's mentor, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. That's the last girl. She was supposed to get married, you know. 
But I'm married. You mean to Mr. Cordia? Sigh, really? You young kids today don't know anything, do you? That goes to the last girl to sell three days after their marriage announcement. Three days after their marriage announcement? What the? This is. Yeah. My theory about someone else killed her seems to be having more ground. Oh, for goodness sake. Can it stop? <laughs> this is what happens when you have to. Why does someone talk about the killer show? She was going to get married. Well, that's because she was far away, you see, by drawn. What? But, 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 they were going to get married, right? They promised each other, right? They hold around an announcement session, but three days later, John only canceled their marriage. I, I, is that true? It was in the weekly magazines. But, but, why? Why did he do that? I was on the magazines, unfortunately. I see. And now, after John called off the wind, that manager and less killed herself. How terrible. I wonder what happened between those two. Well, tell your spirit medium powers and we'll find out. <laughs> You can go ask one person why you decide to call it off with her. And we can ask the other why you decided to um why you decided to break it off. Well, I don't see anything else we can talk about, so... Guess we're on to the all-way all -way lobby? At least I can't figure out what we can talk about. March 22nd... Uh, no, lobby. Oh, that night. There must have been at least a hundred people here. Hmm, I guess the police are done with their question and investigation. And it looks like things here in the lobby have finally come down. Now, yeah, Ryan Co. Law Offices. Ryan Co. Law Offices. It doesn't look like Mr. Scruffy Detective is here. Well, he's out there with that camera asking around, the, around all the electronic stores. They all make some sell for er, him for dinner. It's like Pearls really does appreciate gum, what Gumshoe is doing for us. Um, uh, Mr. Nick? Hmm? Yes? Where is the lettuce? I don't think I've ever bought lettuce before. Oh, I guess I have to give up and make a salad then. Guess the lack of us is kind of a problem. Okay, that's all the same things. Great. Please. Attention to their reserves room. And then I was ended a few hours ago. Looks like we're not going to get a chance to talk with Sir Angle tonight. But, but, isn't that what, isn't what we have to ask very important? Yeah, but I don't think that matters to the guard. Okay, let's go to the Criminal Affairs Department. Maybe we can go talk to someone as to say, hey, we need to speak with our client. It feels sort of tense in here, does it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it does. I wonder if something happened. You're Mr. Engard's lawyer, right? Uh, yes, sir. Well, we finally found just the person we've been looking for. A real decisive witness. Decisive witness? You mean for the Engard case? We're taking the witness statement right now. Gotta hand it to Mr. Edward. 
Edgeworth up to now? Well, who, who is this witness? I think you know this person quite well, Mr. Lawyer. But, but Mr. Nick? Between the kidnappers, the men, and now this, I can't see any way to win here. Oh, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth wanted me to tell you something. He did? Oh, no, visit hours are long over at the detention center. He wanted me to grant you special permission, so there you go. Yes, I was right! Yeah. What? I don't know call them so they know. Go on, talk to your heart's content. Thank you very much. That's such good news, Mr. Nick! Go talk to your heart's content. Sounds like the police are pretty sure they have tomorrow's trial in the bag. Detention center is. Zero I'm sure they must have transferred Miss Andrews here by now. That means that both Mr. Angar and Miss Andrews are in the this detention center. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? Adrian Andrews, honestly. I think everything will clear this up. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry to be visiting at such a late hour. There are a few questions I absolutely have to ask you tonight. Me? I thought your client was Matt. Sure, Sanchez knows something. He can't be clothed about the secret that Sir Cardia had on Mr. Engard. Matt Engard. I'd like to ask you about Matt Engard, if you don't mind. This is what you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean. You seem to bear a lot of resentment towards Mr. Engard. If that's the case, then why did you become his manager? And why would you become intimate with his rival? That has nothing to do with this case. Nothing. About Miss Celeste's impact? I had finally put her death behind me. And now, thanks to you, it's all come back to the surface. I- I'm sorry. Yes, I was shocked by his suicide. That's true, the lot heard the rumor that John was the one who had hit her suicide out. I began to draw close to him. I want to get her suicide note back and to burn it. You want to burn it? But why? I didn't want it to spread like just another piece of gossip. But I never held any murderous intent towards John. I would never do something so stupid. Suicide note, huh? I wonder what said. Why did you try to frame Mr. Engard? That's simple, because he's the killer, that's why. Isn't it the duty of every good citizen to inform the police? But, but, there has to be another way! Police are excellent doing their job, so they'd figure it out, right? Yes, they're good, so good that they couldn't figure out the real truth behind Celeste's death. Miss Andrews? Well, um, I know you're not the type of person to do something without a reason, so please tell me why you did what you did. Revenge. Huh? Did you say something just now? Oh! A second lock, huh? Don't you understand yet? You're not my lawyer. To be honest, you're more like my enemy. But... I'm sure I just heard Miss Andrews say, Revenge. Well then. I'm 
assuming I have to, you know, I can't just switch. Time to see if my theory is right. No, I say so I can know if I have enough element. Uh, enemy. Why frame him? Can you please tell me why you frame Mr. Engo for the murder? Bro, I told you countless times. It's because I thought Matt was the killer. No, that's not it. I know you have a personal reason to dislike Mr. Angon. Miss Andrews, you may think I didn't hear it, but I know you said something earlier. You said revenge. So you're saying I was taking my revenge on Matt, and that's why? Well, what an absurd idea. I, I don't have anything I want to take revenge for. Miss Andrews, the one who lives by depending on our people? There's something or someone in her past that'll make her take revenge. <gasps> oh, hold! Wait, I still have that. I thought. But... Wait, so if you lose, does that go down the entire time? So, so less. There's only one callus that could cause such strong feelings and even revenge. And that's Miss Impact Suicide. Well, what are you trying to say? So let's was your hands manager. On top of that, the one who hit her suicide note was also John. What does this all have to do with Matt? You're right, you haven't mentioned him yet. But for you to hate Mr. Angard, it would mean that he must have had some relation to his impacts and his suicide. Can you explain to me this relation between Celeste and Matt? I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should have been thinking to get us some more clues before I try again. Yeah. Please tell me I didn't mess up by choosing her. Oh. Um. Yeah, she's still there. Hang on. Suicide. Hang on. My measurements. Oh no, that's okay, really. I really don't like you, don't you, Mr. Nick? I know, I know. Dang it. She's gotta have some. I 
I swear, if I messed up by selecting Celeste first. And then, no, Sanders, I'm gonna be so annoyed with myself. Because I figure, you know, I could just switch between the two. Ew, come and go. That doesn't be seem to be the case. Oh, yeah. Now what part are we on? Part three, okay. I think I just messed up. Looks, no, dang it. Yeah, if I can't talk to her first, if I can't change who I talk to, I'm screwed. If I can change. Thank goodness. Dude, it's Mr. Right. I hope you can get me off the hook to ma. I'm counting on you. I hope so too. I'm for just dropped a bombshell on me by saying. Quote, you almost go by Sasha's on the Sasha's fight is this man, Matt Engard. What's wrong? Mr. Engard? Is there something? There is something must know with 100% sorry. Hmm. You think I'm kind of different? You're totally not like your usual self, dude. Uh, one moment. I.
I just realized that whole entire thing was muted. All right, did you know about Miss Recordia, Miss Andrews' relationship? Well, as all of the tablets do. Uh, but I don't know any of the details, if that was you mean. Look how much has to have the error. I don't care what John did with his life. And Sanders, he did have a purpose in mind when she started to see Cordia. Her mentor was Mr. Cordia's manager. My Sanders was gonna get the Celeste Impact suicide note for him. Celeste? Does that jog any memories? Dude, I saw you just got totally hungry. You up for pizza, my treat? Uh, Mr. Nick, what's a pizza? Is it like a pea? Like green peas? Let's go get one later, okay? Alright, I got caught by the pizza dude at the shop. That's too bad. Well, how about we get our minds out of this topic and talk about something else, okay? Mr. Engard. Are you connected to Mr. Impact Suicide somewhere? Right, okay, so I've talked to them both. Both, I've got psyche locks on both of them. Although, I think technically it doesn't count. So, it might restart the entire thing. I'm not sure. But, we need to go through the curl. Bears of heart in it. March 22nd, criminal station, criminal affairs department. Oh, what the? What? You gotta help me, bub! Uh oh. But Mr. Powers! What, what happened? Why are you here? I, oh, uh, you see, I got roped in the summer, bub. What? And now, bub, I'm going to justify the drive the mile. The size of witness is Mr. Powers. I was talking with the detective uh, until a little while ago, and I was on my way home when all of a sudden, bub, you though, you're under arrest, and I was brought back here. Oh. They said, bub, my face and all of a sudden, in general, looked suspicious or something. Hmm. Well, I guess I can see how they thought you were suspicious. Uh, uh, <laughs> Bub, I'm just a normal guy on an exercise show for kids. Is that a crime? So, about this testimony you're giving, why are you going to talk about? Ah, I really don't know you, Bub. But it sounds a uh, like a Bub. I still suffer pretty important for what they tell me. So something important? What was it? Ah oh, well, the detective told me not to talk about it, bub. Can't tell anyone, bub, especially not that lawyer, he said. What do you think that lawyer detective was talking about? I'm gonna take a while guess to say it's me. Yeah, bub. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Mr. Nick! I just about myself for your only two eyes in this whole world, but it's alright! Ouch! I don't really have a lot of friends, do I? This is going to do a lot of damage to that, bub! Because he's got the, that refreshing like a spring free its image going, bub! What's he really like? Well, Bob, let's see. Yeah, Matt's always been kind of a player, a foreman. You never really turn a pretty face away if you know what I mean, Bob. You always say, hey, it's just a game, game to justify himself. <laughs> what? How horrible! That's unforgivable! Oh, so sorry, don't mind to offend you, Bob. But you know, you once said that. There's only one uh, person in this world who won't swoon over me. One person who won't swoon over him? His manager, you know, Miss Adrian Andrews. Why does this person looking kind of energetic? 
Oh, Bob, I'm actually a sucker for gossip. I mean, the leopards in the world have this dazzling sort of image, right? Dazzling sort of image? Aren't you part of that dazzling Mr. Powers? No, I'm more of a heavy, slowly, brutish kind of guy. You see, Bob? But it's okay, really. I guess there are plenty of ghosts about the other swords around me as, I, as things happen, Bub. Well, that's true. Oh, hey, Bub. So, did you hear about this yet? About Miss Enter's mentor and her suicide? You mean Miss Impacts? I heard something about her wedding was cancelled. Yeah, Bub. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, I thought about it a little the other day, and that was still stuck. How much of what? Why don't you ask me about that? Go on, go on ahead. This problem is so dry. Do I have a skill part of the gun with electricity? Alright. Alright, so have you heard this? So let's let the suicide note. And I said that John went and did it. We we'll heard about that in the court today. But we're not surprised that she left a note. Well, this is what I think, bub. I think that someone bad and it was written on that note. Someone bad for John, that is. Something bad for Mr. Cordia? Why do you think so? Well, before she died, so let's start with a few of her friends. And she said, it looks like I got caught up with a truly indigenous man. Truly indigenous man? Did she mean Mr. Cordia by that? Well, there's someone else that fits the bill, right? And that would be reason enough for him to hide the suicide note. I see. Well, that is some good info. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. What's the anger of the They're both at detention center right now. There are still things they don't understand or know about, I'm sure. I have to get the two of them to tell me everything. I really don't want to get hit continue, but you know I have to. That's a Nick, your phone! Ah, that's still some of our same, isn't it, bub? I don't like the sound of this ring down right now. It sounds kind of ominous. Yeah, yeah, I know. Me? Hello? Well, I'm trouble now, bub. I'll, I'll be back at the office really soon. Well, what's wrong? Something real unexpected just happened. It just happened. It's Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? I don't want to hurry up and get back to the office, Bell. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's no good. The end, uh... Okay. Hello? You got cut off. Well, what's going on, Mr. Nick? Comes through something. We need to go back to the office right away. Then, then we should hurry back. I'm scared to go back. What are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Pull yourself together. Um. Maybe it will be good news, bub. Somehow, I doubt that. Sure. Thank you, Powers. Goodbye. Uh, try a second, Ryan go offices. What the is the alarm bell? Mr. Edward can stick around forever not to go. Well, what happened? We got him! We know about that spot camera! Eh? Th this quickly? And this bell that gave them a whip bell! The bear! Oh look, Edward is right! I figured it out! I figured it out, bell! I figured that we should have been looking into the bell instead of the camera! Um, but wasn't it Mr. Edward that they Shh, pearls! And? Go on! There's only one person about one of those battles who's related to the scum. Who, who is it? Who be so rude? She's finding our person in the room. Matt Engard. Oh, shoot. Huh? Matt 
Venga, yep, come on, that's who. Oh, Ben. And here I thought things couldn't get any worse. Yeah, how? The bear. Are you sure you heard right that the person who bought this bear was? I from the department so good, pal. This is a great accomplishment seat for the purchase. It's for three hundred three thousand eight hundred pounds. That's the exact match from the price of that stuff back. A receipt? That's all you have? Now, it's not just the receipt, pal. The store clerk said so himself. He told me I'm sure I'm sure the bell to Mr. Angon. When the clerk came and got Mr. Angon and got out of it. All the graph out of it, pal. So I'm sure that the point the pot itself fell was Mr. Engard himself. My, my son is failing me. This can't be. Big car receipt of the court record? Okay. Spy camera. So what about the spy camera we found? Ah, that was a dead end belt. I mean, you can get this kind of thing from anywhere. But for now, I guess I can give these back to you to file what into evidence. Okay, well that's good. I don't know. I know you don't want to give up, Belle. I never thought. I didn't think it was possible. First of all, Spike Hammer Junk and his room was not Engon. Well, why did Mr. Engon do something like this? But it was the cat Miss Andrews and Mr. Cotillon to one of the rendezvous. I bet it's not good enough for me. I have to know the absolute truth behind this camera. I'm going to say I'm Mr. Engard, I mean. Yes. I'm scared, Mr. Nick. I wonder, I wonder what we will find out next. I'm scared myself. I have to put on good face for pearls. Matt Engard, what in the world have you done? Oh wow. I feel like this is the most evidence I've had in a case. I'll say I might go back and look. And see like, especially towards the end. End and see if I can count. How much is there? But that's a different point. Um, detention center. You're really, you're really late. Late, you know it's all my best and be young, dude. Next time you told me the truth. Relax, don't you know that anger is to the bliss? But if you really want to know, let's talk. Shoot, if I screw this up. Really, really annoying. Let's see. That secret. Now let's hear what this secret of yours is. What for Socrates and Bisexual's plan? What would have he disclosed? Took it before, dude. I don't know. I don't know anything about John, okay? Look, but so I, I can keep on saying it I'm blue in the face, but I totally didn't pay John any attention the whole time that night. I mean, come on. I was in the middle of a... The middle... In the middle of a nap. Don't mind me. Huh? I know you pay close attention to Mr. Rattier, especially on that night. Right? Someone used this camera to secretly film Mr. Cordia's room the night of the murder. Secretly film? What? what? Well, that's the images the camera took with this transmitter. Well, but dude, where is this camera you're talking about hidden? The spot camera was hidden in this bear's eye. 
Well, that was supposed to be a present from a fan. Hmm. You have to know how few of those kind of fans do, huh, dude? Actually, I want to say this where it was a present from a fan. Hmm? You yes, sure, dude? Who else could it be from? The person who gave this bear to Mr. Gordia was... How to use the receipt. Well, Sir Angod? Well, I was like, I'm gonna ask my mom, okay? Shoot! Since I can't be friends with someone like you. Um, go on, if you don't go away, I'm gonna go to the police on you. Shoot. Just trying to thought the answer was right there in front of me. Be. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's not that you don't have the evidence. It is literally, I just can't risk. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I know the first two steps. Secretly film, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm assuming I have to use his picture. Actually, I want to say this for a fan. Hmm? You should, dude? Who was going to be from? Person who gave this fair. Yeah. Take that! Mr. Angot, don't you know this bear from somewhere? I don't think I've ever met Mr. Bear before, dude. Oh, but he says he knows you. How could you forget such a great friend? Well, what else did the bat tell you? He says the one that put the camera in his eye was you, Mr. Angon. I don't know how you work in King Core, but I, th but I think... I didn't know how you work in court. I think I was in some serious trouble. Whoa! Okay. Come on, this is all a joke, right, dude? You just pulled my leg? Looks like you're not ready to give it your secret yet. Well, do you have any proof you want to show me first? Here's the proof that it was you who put the camera inside the bear. This is where we use the credit card receipt. I have here one credit card receipt, Mr. Engard. It's from when you bought that stuff back. Dude, all you can tell from this is that I spent 380 I can go to that department store all the time, okay? That's 380. It's gonna be a bit too fresh I bought that one time. A, a $3,800 toothbrush. It's ivory. Oh, it's got elephant hair for bristles. Ew, elephant hair? Is that what rich people use nowadays? Anyway, the soul clerk climbed around with you and your purchase. After all, you even gave him an autograph, did you not? Dude, you should have said that earlier. Um, so can I ask you one thing? Yes? You're my lawyer, right, dude? So if you are, then why are you looking into stuff like that? So if I don't know the truth, I can't help you. Who not want like stupid lawyer talk to me. Hey, let's stop talking about this, okay? No, not yet. I haven't asked you why you set up the camera yet. And what your secret is, of course. It would be strictly confidential. So, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna find out what I want to know, because I must. Where is he hit this camera, Mr. Cardenas, room and filmed the secret was. If I'm wrong about this, ugh. But this has gotta be the only way to get 
We gotta do him first, clearly. Adrian Andrews? There's a rumor going around that this Andrews was to go there and have secret meetings. You, who was keeping tabs of Mr. Cordia, were going to reveal this as a fact and turn into a scandal, isn't that right? Dude, you can't be such a moron, huh? Oh man, Mr. Larger, that kind of scandal? That's the good stuff. That's what we in the industry call juicy. The good stuff, juicy? Look, we can get publicity without spending a penny with that kind of stuff. I mean, if people stop paying attention to us, that'd be the end, dude. Too bad that wasn't your intention. What are you talking about? Wish for your reason it was fine was uh, something so innocent, but wasn't. You didn't spy Mr. Grandia because of Miss Andrews. Then there's only one reason I can think of for you to do such a thing. The real reason you thought that Cal room Mr. Cordillo's room was... Huh. Gosh, if I have to do this whole entire sequence again... Well, I'll be happy. It's either it has something to do with Celeste, or... Or... I'm gonna go with Celeste. Take that. Put up a spy camera? I wouldn't have to set up in Joel's room. It would be in your office, dude, huh? My office? Well, dude, you're always saying well, I'm sort of things, right? If you like it in the comedy channel for free, shoot. Yeah, I'm so close. If you don't laugh then. Nope. Back up. Not having this full thing is really annoying. And then it says bliss, right to talk. Okay, let's save. So that way we get rid of that dialogue. And if the car doesn't have anything to do with it, I'm gonna look it up. Because I unfortunately do not. No well support. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. He has locks. Confidential, where are you? I'm a the reason is Okay, it didn't punish me when I selected Miss Andrews. So 
Later in Andrews, where we go around. Talking about... Card. Maybe he doesn't know about this card. This is a certain man's calling card. His name is Shelly the Killer. I'm sure you know of him, don't you? Shelly the Killer? Th th that's ridiculous. Well, why would I know some shady sunbag like him? You normally don't know him. Then why are you acting jumpy all of a sudden? Um, this is it. I'm finally starting to get to the truth. Can't afford to make any more mistakes now. Mr. Engon, I know why you know the killer. It's because you're his client. The client. Since you're the one who set up that camera, that means you knew. You knew exactly what was going to happen in that room. So, how, how would you know something like that? Because you're his client. That's why. You hired Shelly the killer to assassinate Mr. John Cordia. The real mastermind behind this whole murder is you, M uh, Engard. Sorry. And here I was, trying to be a good boy for you, dude. I thought if you didn't know, you'd be able to do your job without feeling bad. Well, that's what I thought anyway. But Mr. Engard, you really did hire? Hold on a sec, I'm gonna consult myself, okay? Consult myself? Well, I guess it's probably about time anyway. About time for what? I think it's time for you to meet him now, Mr. Lawyer dude. How do you do, Mr. Lawyer? Ah, Mr. Matt. Ah, Matt Engard. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, it healed me. But also, I'm so confused. Well done, Mr. Rat. Oh, but it wasn't easy to gather as much information as you have. You really? So you're Shelly to kill its client? You don't really think I would turn my own hands in this, did you? Well, what do you mean? And that woman, and it was quite brave herself, trying to see the crime on me. I didn't think she had it in her. What I care about is John is dead. Isn't that right, Mr. Lawyer? But that's you're lying! What a terrible It's past your it's what past your bedtime, little girl? Go on. It allows grown ups to talk about more adult things. But why? Why didn't you hide the video camera and A week on soon will leave the world of others, just like that pathetic Adrian. How about Miss Andrew's secret? But I'm not wickling. I don't believe anyone, least of all assassins. What? Oh, come now, Mr. Ron. Assassins are above blackmail. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding the, the simple deed over their heads. Oops. Dang it. You can't breathe so fast. Hey. I'm a super star like me. How much do you think I'm worth, Couch Gals? And that's why. Yes, that's where the video comes in. Got his face and the crime scene recorded on it. Put that for all time. With that, I can keep him at bay and even blackmail him if I want. But right, that video is my insurance. Is, is my insurance, isn't that what they call it, Mr. Rat? Why did you do something so wrong? 
Because I'm a grown up and I can't. Good enough answer for you, little girl. Why? Why would you kill Mr. Cordia? Because he was about to sling so much dung into my beautiful public image. Gansels are a little annoying, aren't they? This is all because of that press conference, isn't it? The Sir Cardia had been able to give it, then the Vanguard's secret would have... Oh, well, that's what we call taking advantage of the situation, you know. I had no interest in doing it, really, but bit by bit it crept up on me. Then the situation just presented itself perfectly. How beautiful, I thought. And that's how Mr. Cordia ended up dead. Let me tell you something. I'm not like Adrian. I don't depend on anyone. People are simply things to be used. Used and thrown away. Put on a sweet elephant face and people will swallow up anything you feed them. Adrian fell for it. The assassin too. Oh, and how can I forget? Even you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer. Everyone all working their butts off for me, Matt and God. Aw, did that leave you speechless? What a shame. What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? You've grown awfully quiet. How, how could I have been deceived by you all this time? When we from ass, I asked if you had killed John Cordia. You answered very clearly that you hadn't killed anyone. I know, I never told you any lies. The person who did the killing was that to kill a guy, right? All I'm guilty of is taking a cat nap in my room. You, you, you killed Mr. Cordia. Ha ha ha. You're going to say that in court tomorrow. <laughs> oh, but too bad. You can't be my lawyer after all, aren't you? You could always drop a case and present me. How does that sound? Oh, but you can't, can you? That would be one thing. That would be the one thing you absolutely can't do. But Miss Sigmaya! You wouldn't want to test the killer. He's a man of the wood. Or oh, so I hear. You could have him get a certain friend of yours rubbed out if you lose. You, you scoundrel! So if I were you, was alright? Alright, Esquire. Or I would give it my all tomorrow. Remember, everyone likes a happy win-win resolution. I, I, I'll get you for this. That's such a cliche phrase. Don't say something just like that about ourselves. Of course, well, we all know how, how well things turn out for him, don't we? Good night, Mr. Lawyer. Maya, what am I supposed to do? And now, now that you finally found out about the starting line of this case, Edward, I don't care for the horrid episode. Let's return to the precinct. Oh, we're just suddenly there. Police uh, Station Criminal Affairs Department. Well, right, what are you going to do if you plan on changing your strategy? No! We can't do that! That's what? He's hold my hostage. What What should I do? That's not something I can answer for you, right? Mr. Edward? Right, only you can decide where to go from here. One year ago, at this time, I didn't understand what a prosecutor was. That is why I had to leave the prosecutor's office. I felt that I couldn't stand in a court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really was. And now, right, it's your turn. My turn? What is this thing called a lawyer? What can you do as one? You must find the answer, and you must find it on your own. Oh boy. I'm a liar, but to fight for someone who is clearly a killer. 
That Engard, that man is really- Ugh! It doesn't matter who. Every person deserves a proper defense and a fair trial. Yeah, yeah, he's not wrong. He said that the basics of our judicial system. Proper defense? But what exactly is that? Is there a lawyer forcibly and blindly gets an acquiel through shouting and trickery? Sorry, I wanted that you of all people should say such a thing. Isn't that exactly how you fought for your cl clients up until now? Uh, for a while, that might be true, but but that's, that's because I believe my clients to be innocent from the bottom of my heart. But if I were to get Engar and Aquil, that that isn't a proper defense at all. I became a lawyer because I thought I thought I could save people who were suffering and pain. But when I look at this mess we're in, I can't even protect the person closest to me. Even if I win the case, I still lose in the end. I just don't know what to do. What? Could you get a hold of yourself? You have it all wrong. Huh? We aren't some sort of heroes. We're only human, you and I. You want to serve someone? That's something easier said than done, wouldn't you say? And that's... You're a defense attorney. You can't run away from that. You can only fight. That's all what you can do. People like you in front of car are always using all you have to pin me down. You fight to the very end, even when you know the truth is not with you. But I'm not like you. I can't fight for a false verdict. Not for a man I clearly know to be guilty. Francisca, she fights for herself. The only thing she fights for is a perfect win record. That's all. And? Isn't that the same as you? Isn't that why you ran away a year ago? Because your precious win record was destroyed? You're so petty. I see. Now I understand why you despise me so. However, you're mistaken. What do you... Thanks to you, when you set off my path to a perfect win record, I began to realize the error of my ways. I realized that things such as a perfect record were meaningless. What? I, I don't believe you. Are you saying that is why you left the prosecutor's office? But then why? Why are you here now? The answer to that is something you will find out on your own. I have faith you will stay up before the verdict is read tomorrow. Well, if you can't, then you will be powerless to change the end of the story. Oh, Mr. Nick! The transceiver! Beep. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Now then, Mr. Tony, do you wait or you can obtain an aquiole tomorrow? My, my, what's the matter, Mr. Tony? I don't sense your usual anger this time. Tell me, please. Why are you holding my hostage for Mr. Engard's sake? Why are you? Why are you doing this for that cold blooded killer? Right? Please, don't misunderstand things. He's my client. Don't toy with me. A man who hides assassins just as much as a killer himself. I believe you ask me for a reason why I'm doing what I am. Yeah. This is what I like to call my aftercare. Well, what the heck is aftercare? My name codes a sum of honor and dignity, Miss Artana. I take I take it with great care to ensure that no inspe inscription falls upon my clients for my handiwork. That's what it's called, client relations, and it's part of an assassin's duty. Assassin's in duty? We're unlucky this time, and my client was arrested as suspected. 
As a result, I did what I had to do to ensure your expert help, Mr. Attorney. And to ensure that you would do everything in your power to the very end. Well, what's your name? I believe I told you once before. However, you did, but my name is De Killer. Shelley De Killer. You're, you're Shelley De Killer? Yeah, Shelley De Killer. Please, come on, mind. You do not have the space to maneuver with me. As a killer, I always finish what I set out to do. If you fail to keep up your end of the bargain, Mamaya, it will be my duty as a assassin to receive, see, to see to it to receive a nice long nap. But, ha, no! Now then, if you'll excuse me, if someone were to try to signal back to me, it would be quite troublesome. I don't know what to say. Edward? Hmm? D did you hear that at the end of that transmission? Huh? Oh, that. It sounded like a cat. A cat? It can't be. That cat, can it? What is it? I think I think I know where Shelly the Killer is holding my hostage. Edward, I want the police to head to my Edward's mansion immediately. All right, you hurry over as well then. Don't use half light pearls if I has only just begun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess the last you just killed yourself and didn't have a... So it wasn't my well, so last That's okay. Come on. March 22nd and go match in the living room. Maya! Please answer us, Mystic Maya! We have this area completely surrounded. There's no way for him to escape. Assuming he's still in the area. I can't believe it, that butler, all this time, he was the killer. He and Angard were working together all this time. I'm sure they worked out a contingency plan ahead of time. Uh, we're gonna examine that. Oh, it's a figure of green of a bear. But there's a lot of cuts in it for some reason. Figurine adds to the court record. A bear. Is that another thing for Mr. Cordia? Why would something like this be here? What? Look down. There's a little putt door installed here. Ah, I'm sure that's for shoe. Do you think that this came through that little door? Oh, this door. It's locked. Well, I'm pretty used to breaking down doors by now. Let's go, Edward. Slam. 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 Crash. Are you? There's no one here! From the looks of this room, I'd say this is Engard's private lounge. Look at this, right? The antenna for sending and receiving radio signals and, and the VCR. Check inside the deck. If there's a tape, it will be an important piece of evidence. And for luckily, it will have the moment the crime was committed recorded on it. I'm sorry, but the tape duct is up to it. There's no tape to be found. No! But there's no mistake that someone used this to record something. It looks like someone took the tape we're looking for and escaped with it. There's a little door for shooting this big door! I'm pretty sure Maya used this door to shut this out, and I'm sure it was her. Every time you get someone a piece of evidence, it's always the most crucial piece. This time, too, I'm sure. Angard's computer. Maya, why couldn't you have used this to get help? But Mr. Nick! Where's where's the power switch? Oh, I get it. So that's what happened. She couldn't find the power switch. Is 
the VCR on a 10 a. The footage that the spy camera took at the scene of the crime. Well, the beam team recorded on tape. But when you had that tape, it would have been really helpful. Here, Chalmers' figure is um, largely here. I'm sure if I saw this, she'd say, I would die a happy samurai fan if I could see the nickel samurai on a TV like this. Yeah, that's what she'd say. Funny enough, she did say that. Ah, I can't believe I just made a joke about my all things considered. This is a very small table. I bet we could barely squeeze three pearls on here. But I don't sell a table to begin with, Mr. Nick. What spacious sofa? I bet ten pearls would fit on it here. Um, I don't think ten of me would fit, Mr. Nick. Can't read all the labels. Well, this is a very large collection of videotapes. Looks like Anger taped all of his own shows. It's gotta be something, right? Wine cellar. We searched all over, but it looks like he got away. I'm I'm sorry. It looks like he slipped out of our grasp this time. And now we've lost our only lead. Don't give up yet. That little girl's looking for you to be her pillar. Yeah, you're right. We're close, I can tell. We've already set up checkpoints among every route leading out of this district. Leave the rest to us. Maya. I mean... This looks like a picture of Miss Impacts with Love Celeste. Miss Impacts? You mean... Yes, Mr. Cordia's former manager. Why would a picture of Miss Impacts be here Mr. Engel's mansion? What does it say with love? Hmm. This might be a clue. So let's fill it to the court record. Ah! What's wrong, Pearls? But please tell me, let me see that picture frame? Huh? What's so special about the frame? On the back! There's something real on the back of the frame! Maya! It's Mr. Maya! She left us a message! Well, what? I thought you'd come. I knew you would. Now listen up. You better get Engar to give me sentence, okay? If you give that creepy slime back and not guilty, I'll never forgive you. Ever! I'm fine, so you don't need to worry. There's so much I want to write, but I don't think I have a lot of time left. Probably you're there too, right? Make sure you help Nick, okay? Someone's gonna watch out for the helpless hunk. Um, uh, that's it for now, Nick. I guess I'll see you guys later. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, that's I know! I took my ass up! Right. Right. What's wrong? Why the blank star? Oh, um, nothing. We'll start the house, and this is the last room. It looks like he eluded us. Edward? Yes. As far as clothes go, I think about this is about all I'm going to get. But I'm still short one last thing. Oh, what is that? Ah, this is where I do a psyche lock. Sandra's psyche lock. If I could just find out what secret she's holding, then I could stand a chance in court tomorrow. To blow this case wide open and expose the truth. I think I know what you're thinking. I'll contact the detention center. Um, thanks, Edward. Well, let's go, Pearls. It's time to open that last lock. And then... Time for me to go. Good evening, Mr. Wright. Well, what's wrong? You look ill, Miss Andrews. I have come to remove your psyche lock. Psyche lock? I want you to know, and you will tell me your secret. Fine, go ahead. Try to break me if you can.
Things have gotten what I love, folks. Mr. Engard for the murder? But I told you countless times. It was because I thought Matt was the killer. But that's it. I know. It's Andrews, you may think I didn't hear, but I know you said something early. You said revenge. So you're saying I was taking my revenge out on Matt, and that's why? Well, what a sir, idea. I, I don't have anything I want to take revenge for. Miss Andrews, a woman who lives by a different Depending on other people, there's some of them. Okay, we got go Celeste. So Celeste, there's only one catalyst that would cause such strong feelings and even revenge. The mass must impact suicide. What are you trying to say? Celeste is your lungs manager. On top of that, the one who hid her suicide note was also drawn. What does this all have to do with Matt? You're right, you what? You haven't mentioned him yet. But for you to hate Mr. Engard, it would mean that he must have some relation to his impacts and her suicide. Can you explain to me this relationship between Matt and Celeste? It's gotta be the top. No. Yeah. This? This is the top of Miss Impacts, correct? She looks younger than when she passed away, though. With love, Celeste. This is Miss Impact's handwriting, isn't it? Where did you find this? No, that's alright. It was a rhetorical question. Yeah, it is. I found this at Mr. Angard's mansion. And after all this time, the last remaining secret has been revealed. Celeste, she is supposed to get married to John. Yes, but I heard that it didn't work out. Because Mr. Cordia didn't want to get married to her anymore, right? Yes, because of Matt. But because of Mr. Engard, what do you mean? I think I can see where this is going. Celeste, she was Matt's manager a long time ago. She was the happiest woman in the world at the time. I was working part time back then. I often saw the two of them together. So that's why we love Celeste's running on the frame in that picture. They were a couple, weren't they? They were a couple, weren't they? Was I think as splendid as that? Celeste was being used. Tore with until she was thrown away. That's so horrible. That's entire image is built around how nice and wonderful of a man he is. See how we've destroyed that. Just by Celeste and kindness moved over to Worldwide Studios. That's what she met Juan. She was really happy with him, even happier than she was with Matt. Celeste so and John were a good match that they were even planning to get married. And then it was suddenly called off. On the night John called the marriage off, Celeste, so she killed herself. And that's why I framed Matt. It was a revenge for Celeste and myself. Sure, even you can guess why John called off the wedding, right? I confessed to John about his relationship with Celeste. I see, so that's what happened. But, then why did Sir Couture call off the wedding? I don't understand at all. That's probably because of his worthless male pride. John and Matt were always first rivals. Matt went up for the wedding announcement and then unleashed the truth on John. He was aiming for it when it would hurt John the most. Poor Miss Impacts! That wasn't the end of it. 
That day, I'm not certain that's the last lovely suicide note behind. And in that note, she left a detailed account of Matt's various misdeeds. And, that she would never again be hurt by Nat, she chose to die. Well, when John discovered her body, he hit her note. But, but why would he do that? It's simple. John realized that the note was a powerful weapon against Matt. And being especially damaging to his refreshing like a spring breeze image. In any case, with his pride hot, John sought revenge. Revenge? There's that word again. John wanted to publicly disclose the contents of that suicide note. At a time that will cause Matt the most damage, of course. And that was at the press conference after the stage show. Now all about because I heard it all from John. If someone could find out about all this, I drew close to John to begin with. They're quite a pair of hideous monsters, aren't they? It was the last chance for something for them to use in their game. The night when I found John's body, it was only natural that I thought the murderer was a match. So we're always spying on one another, after all. As for me, I was frantically searching for Celeste's suicide note. I wanted to destroy it before I ever went public. I was going to burn it. I had even brought a liar. Lighter. But... I couldn't find the suicide note, and that's when revenge crossed my mind. Yes, I was going to bring them my own kind of cruel revenge. So I was killed by those two monsters. So I stabbed John's body with that knot. I didn't feel a single shred of guilt. And that's all I have to say. Well, Mr. Wright, even though all this, are you still going to help that man? I, I'm a lawyer. I see. Well, a foul profession. Thank you very much for your time and talking with me. It was no big deal. I couldn't sleep anyway. I can't sleep either. Not with my situation or with what I know now. To be continued. So neat. Save. And that is where we will end. Because so uh, no, I do not want a clip. Um, no, I sure she's the person we raid. I don't really care for the game, but it's fine. And I'll see you all whenever I can. Bye.